Hi gamers, welcome to another Pokefusion stream, uh, where, oh, I didn't change the text, oh no, Lizzie Who, thank you for subscribing, everybody talks amongst yourself while I change the text of that, who are those Pokemon? All gins, all funs. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. It's a live show. Sometimes you do it on the air. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Does that have been shakes? Also, thank you for, <laughs> for re-upping your subscription. Uh, we're doing all gins today. Because I decide what happens on the show. And I decided I was ready for that. And, I, and then I started clicking on the All Gins Fusion Generator. And <laughs> I immediately regretted this, but we're doing it. We're doing it, and it's going to be good. Nightbot still says Sword Timber 2. Wait, does it? Where? Where on Nightbot does it say Sword Timber? I mean, if you hit, if you do exclamation point sword, it'll still, it'll still give you the sword prompts. That's for all, that's just a service, though, that it provides. How are we going to guess this? Well, Cin Cinnamon Shakes, I was wondering about that myself because it's, there's so many Pokemon and there are so many Pokemon um, variations that it seems impossible. Knife Snail, thank you for all the gift subs. Congratulations to anybody who just got a, a Knife Snail special. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Knife Snail, for all the gift subs. Congrats, everybody. I'm so excited that we finally got to Watermelon Club. It took us a whole year, but it, we finally got to, to Watermelon Club, and I'm very excited about that. Uh, all right, so here's my here's my idea about yeah, Ron. I also don't know very many Pokemon. It's gonna be fine. Um, to here's my idea about how to do this. One is that I will give you the type of Pokemon it is. And then uh, of each of each of the Pokemon components, so I think that'll be a good way of limiting, maybe uh, helping helping guide your guesses. So at the start, after I after I roll the fusion, I will uh, let you guys know what the two Pokemon types are. So, uh, and I'm also giving myself the uh, rights rights of refusal. Uh, so uh, for the for the first gen ones, I was just clicking and whatever we got is what we got um some of the fusions are just impossible <laughs> they're just bad so i'm giving myself permission to um not do some of them if i think they're bad or going to be impossible to guess um so that's that's a service um the other thing to know is that i've been having internet issues all day uh I we I was filming a video for Polygon earlier, and we we do a two person system where somebody um, sits in on a Zoom call to make sure that we're saying all the right things in the right order and are not fucking up too badly. We still fuck up, but not as badly as we would if we were doing solo. But I, just my Zoom call kept cutting out, and it was a real frustration recording wise. Anyway, if you get a Voltorb one, please go for it. I need this. I I promise you. If we don't get a Voltorb one tonight, I will manufacture us getting a Voltorb one tonight because I can do that. Uh, so that's that's where I'm standing right now. I did pre-roll us. Uh, oh, this is interesting. They because uh, the later generations have multiple types, so I guess I'll give you the first the first type listed for these two Pokemons. Oh, Lanceheart! Thank you for subscribing with Prime. Did it do it twice? I don't know why that happened, but I'm I'm thankful I'm I'm thankful otherwise. Thank you. Okay, all right, locked and loaded. Cinnamon does deserve a little of Voltorb. Um, this one is not a Voltorb though. This one, uh, our two Pokemon are Water and Fighting. Okay. Yeah, let me think about, okay, now here comes the part where I actually have to do the thing. <laughs> and I don't know why, I suddenly got intimidated. I guess I haven't hopped into Blender in a while, because I was traveling up the beautiful coast of Maine. Okay. I'll put that there. Uh, 
I'm gen- genuinely already panicked about where to start with that, which feels like a bad sign. No, just gonna go for it. All right. Ugh, it's bad. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this. Little grabbies. Whoop. Nope. Further on the side. Here we go. Nope, further down. The good news is the orb shape is pretty accurate. The orb shape is pretty much what it needs to be. Two mainstream cinnamon shakes! That, you were quiet for a while there. I should have been more nervous. <laughs> it does this, this, I'll say this creature does kind of have a Kirby vibe. So you guys are not, you're not right, but you're not far off. You just woke up. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. Uh, this is going to be, there's just so many Pokemon. I think this is going to be so much harder for y'all. If it gets, if this is too difficult. Ooh, wow, that looks genuinely so creepy. If this is too difficult, we can we can figure out more limiters, more limiting factors. Ooh, we got a new more cute puppy emotes. I love the puppy emotes. Yeah, maybe only certain types, or maybe I can give you like. Um, what generation each one of them is in. That would involve me googling what generation they're all in, though, because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know most of them offhand. Where did... I really lost the plot on these fingers, like, immediately. Joe, you can always sleep. If all of your if all of your uh, beautiful banana bread. I also, I have never had uh, raisins in a banana bread. That's very intriguing. I'm really a I'm a walnut lass, is what they call me. I'm really excited actually for for it to be cooking season because I froze a bunch of Thai bananas when it was Thai banana season. And I'm curious to be to see how that's gonna be in a banana bread. I, one of the, this poor mom's finger fingers is so thin. <laughs> that I just have forgotten how to use Blender at all. <laughs> what horrible, weird little hands! How do you quick? Somebody teach me how to blend. Oh no. <laughs> Oh boy, I, I, the part of my, I, you know what it is? I've been writing so much recently, and I think the part of my brain that, um, thinks in shape is just, like, dead right now, and it's just, my brain is all, it's all words, and yet I can't speak good either, so what, where even, it, where even is my brain at? What's even the point of my brain right now? If this is not a lap dude, but it is lap dude adjacent. I worry all gen is going to be too difficult. I'm like, I'm thinking about, like, I'm going to reach the end of this creature uh, before too long. I just don't know if it's going to be, if you're going to be able to tell what it is. It, I'll, I'll say, here's a, a hint. It, although it is lap dude adjacent, there are no similar parts. There, there's no shared DNA specifically. Uh, let me. Let me do this. This might help. This is going great. <laughs> this, yeah. This ball is ready to fight you. And this, 
it, the ball will win. Well, maybe, you know? My instinct is that it would win, but actually looking at the shape of this, how is it going to punch you? <laughs> it's just going to have to try to roll into your body, I guess. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't actually think this is going to be a good creature for fighting. Okay, I will, okay, we'll, we'll do this as well. I will tell you when you get, uh, it, when you successfully guess one half of it, uh, we, were, we were doing a version where I was making you have to guess both halves. We won't do this this time. So I will tell you, uh, Lance Hart is correct that it is half machop. Machop! Congratulations, Lance Hart. Your prize is in the mail. It's uh, junk mail is the prize, actually, for guessing on this show. So, sorry. <laughs> Joe Gats, I opened my mouth to, to do the my wife machop joke, and my, just, my body physically would not allow me to do it. It would not, it would not, my, my vocal cords just froze up. It said, no, there's enough of that in the world. You don't have to be a part of it. Uh, toxicity, it is not, as a good guess though. I, it does, now it does look like I've just given it kind of a cool mohawk. It's not a sphere, although that's a good guess on account of the shape of this thing. Um, why is it screaming? That's a great question. Um, Probably just existential dread. Uh, I think probably that or the knowledge that it is an abomination and and the only one of its kind. Uh, and and therefore and therefore doomed to a lonely existence. I think that would make me cry out. Simon Shakes, you are correct that it is some kind of fish. That is correct. Ha it's half machop. Oh, Inky Bird! Uh, you're right, Inky Bird. You're a pro at this. You are a, a, a professional guesser of Pokemon. <laughs> that is indeed exactly what it is. Let me drop a link in the chat for everybody to uh, enjoy. This is a really good orb. I I really like it. I think it's got a cute face. Its hands, I think you'll agree, are pretty babyish. So I think I I think I got that one pretty accurate, actually. The fins were a giveaway. I'm glad, actually. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> I was not I was nervous that this one wasn't gonna happen. It's just a little orb. It's not a Voltorb, but it is just an orb. Yeah, stripped away of all the features, you get to see how, how many how many of these creatures are just orbs. Mavana. Let me rename you. Mavana. I yeah, I think ma, ma Mavana is pretty cute actually. And I think my version cap captures the energy pretty well. I don't hold on, let me give it let me give this creature a better smile. There we go. Now that is a Mavahana. Oh, Joe Gats, that's a great point. Lots of Pokemon are orbs so they can fit better in the Pokeballs. This is known. <laughs> Mavana. Mavana. Okay. Um, great. I love this cutie. 
how was how was that from a guessing angle? Was that overwhelming? <laughs> what did that feel impossible or did that feel like that 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 feel like it was something that you could do? That was good? Okay. It was okay because I was <laughs> it was earlier gyms. Oh, okay. That's yeah, that's a good point. I might I mean, I'm going to I I won't purposely be choosing Pokemon that I recognize more, but it might be accidental. <laughs> Did Google fish Pokemon to no effect? <laughs> okay, let me get. Uh, okay, I have, I have rolled my new shape. <laughs> it's, it's a good shape. It's a good shape. It's a good shape. Um, I'm struggling to identify what certain parts of it are but let's just let's just do it uh true as science it is in fact a delicious unbranded beer it's uh the second to last beer from the batch of beer that i made um and i'm excited because it's fall and i've got an oatmeal stout that i've been wanting to make so i'm excited to finish this batch so i can brew that one up actually i can brew that now and by the time it's ready to bottle i'll have drank all my beers <laughs> all right cool that's Friday plan sorted. All right, let me, uh, phew. What a, I'm just tr like straw, I guess we'll just start with an orb. And that just has to be where we start. Okay. <laughs> Beer brand Lap Dude. Lap Dude is a good name for a brand. And I think that would be amazing. 10 gallons of an oatmeal stout. That's impressive. All grain. Yeah, I'm all grain. I'm not, I'm not deep enough into uh, the brewing, brewing quite yet to do anything fancier than that. But I'm slowly, I'm slowly getting more and more into it. I'm started to invest in better equipment, which is a sure sign that I'm getting into it. What kind of oatmeal stout did you make? Is it just like a straight, straightforward earnest oatmeal stout? This is gonna get, this blend is gonna get worse before it gets better. Joe Gats, I didn't, I'm sorry. I didn't. I only make one gallon batches at the time and that's just not a lot. That's just not a lot of beer. I, I said it was gonna get worse before it gets better and that is, I wasn't lying. Let me add some, f some fringe on this. Uh, I don't think it takes a lot to do. I mean, for context, I'm working in an extraordinarily tiny New York apartment and I, I'm i still able to brew just fine. I, again, I am only brewing like one one gallon batches at a time. Oh, what are the types? Um, the f These are both, both of the Pokemon involved in this have multiple types. The top type on them are Dragon Bug. So good luck. Hey, Amber Aaron, thank you for re-upping your subscription. Uh, it is Latias. I see a couple people saying that. I, I Did you just get that from the, the shape or the fringe? I'm so impressed that you got that. Really impressed that you guys figured that out, honestly. Iconic shape, okay. I mean, I'm looking at... <laughs> uh, I'm looking at the what the other Pokemon has contributed to this. And it's, I think this is going to be a difficult one. <laughs> I think this is going to be a hard one to parse out because so much of the body is just Lat Latius. Latitus? Latus? Anyway, if you already have the brewing equipment, I say just, you know, just try it out see how how it goes for you mostly you need just a lot of pots that's where i'm at is i just have to keep buying more and more pots i i can here's the problem i can guarantee that I, nothing I'm doing right now is has anything to do with the other part of the Pokemon. I almost feel like I'm cheating you guys out of opportunity. 
Oh, well, no. Okay, actually, this is this is part of it. I'm sorry, I was wrong. This is part of it. It's hard to tell based on the shape. Beedrill's a great guess, but is not is not the good is not the right guess, but is a good guess. Hey, Chad, thank you for upping your subscription. It's good Pokemon. Some great guesses. Let me double check and make sure nobody. I mean, I'm scrolling up to make sure I. I didn't miss anybody guessing it. No, nobody's guessed it. You guys are doing good guesses, though. This is really good guesses. Uh, as a reminder, the second part is bug. Is at least bug and also something else. Let me do the horrible little face. It's got a really amazing, <laughs> dare you to groove. You are correct, it is a parasect. I am gonna go ahead and fill out the rest of this little old man face because I, I do love it. But let me drop a link to this creature in the chat. Well spotted, dare you to groove. Um, but let me go ahead and put the old man face on it because I really love the old man face that it has. I don't how am I gonna get this old man face? Let me see what I can do about this. Oh god. Bye, Coley Culkins. Okay. <laughs> I love Parateus. It's uh yeah, I muted the website. The it's the sound is a lot. The sound is too much for me. But I love the face. Isn't the face really good? <laughs> Isn't the face... The face looks like the face of um, that one meme cat. Polite cat, I think is what it is. It is just orbs, though, yeah. This is <laughs> at Oops All Orbs episode <laughs> of Who's That Pokemon? Why did I do this shape? That's a bad shape. Let me, maybe I'll just carve it into the face. No good options right now. Yeah, polite cat is big polite cat energy. Do you see it in the face? If you don't, it'll, I'll add it and then you'll see it. Just that firm little mouth. Are you not going to let me? <laughs> I don't get to interact with this creature anymore, Blender? Blender? Blender. <laughs> I, I don't. Just let me do it. Uh, I've lost right. Okay, there we go. There we go. Are you going to let me do it? Did I, did I mask something? No, you're letting me you're letting me do some stuff, just not the face. I, I'm done. Okay. Yeah, Blender just doesn't want me to complete Parateus, our good friend. Uh, but they're wrong, and I'm gonna do more with this later. While you're not looking, so Blender can't stop me. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do more stuff to it later because I love it and it's cute. Okay, let me roll up. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. Uh, ooh. Okay. Mm. Uh, okay. Um, this is a psychic normal. That one is psychic and one is normal. It's a uh, great news. It's still a pretty much an orb. <laughs> it's still kind of just an orb. Uh. Uh. No, let's just yoink. No, it's it's oops all orbs. I'm not controlling it. That's just how it has happened. Uh, sometimes, sometimes the generator is good, and it gives you good things to work with. First day of fall is annual orb day. 
All right. Hi, Spiderweb Central. You you're all making some great guesses, but you're not you're not there yet. I know you'll get there, but you're not there yet. Nope, not that bit. This bit. <laughs> Weird, horrible little feet I've made. made I've just made a little egg with little feetsies and that's all I've done so far I feel actually pretty great about <laughs> about this shape <laughs> I'm I'm almost sad that I have to do anything to this shape because just look at it <laughs> oh but all good things all good things must end <laughs> what types is this one? It's half psychic, half normal. There are no additional, uh, no no additional information. That is just they are pure types. Copy and save it for later. No, no, I'll recreate it if I must. But the show must go on. Half psychic, half normal Peter shoes. <laughs> which part? Which halves is which half? The guessing game is I am on the Pokemon Fusion Generator, all, all Pokemon, all generations. And I have fused up a Pokemon and now I am blending it. And you guys have to guess what the combination of Mons that I'm blending is. So, for example, we had some some good good friends already been made. It is two Pokemon. You are trying to guess what two Pokemon. It's all generation. This is half psychic, half normal. And I don't think... I, I will tell you when you guess either half. But nobody has guessed either half yet. This is going to be a tricky one. Drowsy's a good guess, but it ain't right. Let me let me think about how, what the shape of this thing is. This is more this is more poof. It vaporize. It is half grumpig. Uh, excellent excellent work. Well spotted. Half grumpig. Which I did not realize was a psychic mon. But Grumpig half psychic. Or Grumpig all psychic. This this abomination half psychic. <laughs> okay. Let me let's do the head. Grumpig plus Wow, I should be using the draw tool more often. Holy cow. Look at that thing just form. I also forgot Grumpig was a thing. And yet here it is. Grumpig is an evolution, right? There's a smaller... Wait, is Grumpig related to T-Pig? Is that a Pokemon? This thing has a very pleasant face. Uh, and I don't know how to do pleasant in Blender. That's not really my thing. Of Sproink? Sproink? Sproink is an amazing name for a Pokemon. Incredible, incredible work, Nintendo. Um God, how to how to do how to do this? I think this is the the second part of this Pokemon. I think is less 
I don't think it's a very well-known Pokemon. Like, I'm looking at it, and it's like, I I trust that this is a Pokemon, but if if this fusion generator were lying to me, I don't think I would know. <laughs> I'm, tr I'm putting a lot of faith in this fusion generator to not be full of pranks, but it could just be full of pranks. Can we guess the gen? You can. I'll have to look up what generation it comes from, but you can, you can, let me look it up. Okay. I can tell you what generation the second part comes from. Are legendaries in here? I think so. I think so. Um, let's see. Uh, as a reminder though, the second half of this is a normal type. So it's definitely, the second half is definitely not. Uh, the Jin, if you want to know, I'm going to say it. It's Jin 5 is the second half of this. Yeah, this is a good guess. It's not correct, but it's a good guess. Um, this thing has a tail. This thing has a tail, but like, I don't understand the geometry I don't understand the geometry of the tail, so I guess I'll just go f for it and try to recreate it from a visual standpoint. <laughs> I don't know what a lily pup is, uh, but it sounds adorable. This is not a lily pup, partially, partially a little bit. Not pat rat. Pat rat? Pat pot trapped? We're creating a new generation, a generation knife snail. Incredible. Knife snail. You've done it. I don't know what you've done, but you've done it. I mean, that's what all of these have to be called now in some way. I, I'm just going to have to, I'm going to have to sit and think on that one for a while. Trophy Pokedex versus Jenna Pokedex. <laughs> oh, Lizzie who you're so close. Oh, you're so close. Generation might has to be what these are called. The whole, the whole thing. Oh, thank God. A piece of work, uh, work on me. You got it. You got it. it that is indeed the ch chinchino, chinchino, chinchino. This is a grump pig chinchino combo. Let me drop a link to this fine creature in the chat. Um, hopefully you can appreciate why I was struggling with the tail. I don't understand. I think the part of the tail, I don't think it's tail. I think it's head, <laughs> but it's, it is interpreted as tail in this image, which is very confusing. Um, but here's, here's Sin Pig. <laughs> here's Sin Pig. Hello, Mr. Shadow Paradox. Here's Simfig. Yeah, it has a kind face, right? It has a very sweet and pleasant face. Uh, incongruous with the rest of the creatures we make, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I really like Sinpig <laughs> as, a, as a name um, for this sweet, very pleasant-faced creature. Grumpchino would have also been very good. Grumpchino would have been really good. <laughs> Um, this is an okay approximation. It's not my favorite, but I like, I like Sin Pig. Sin Pig's out here doing their best work. All right. Uh, let me, come in. Oh God, sorry, the pop-up ad is. <laughs> uh, all right, let me roll up a new little friend. What is this going to be? Ooh. Okay. Okay, interesting. <laughs> um, okay, interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, this is a bug poison type. <laughs> one half bug, one half poison. <laughs> 
almost all orb. <laughs> impeccable. 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 Incredible. An incredible orb. This is honestly the most trash bag Pokemon it could possibly be. I haven't even blended anything yet. You guys don't even know. Okay. What are the types again? Um, part bug, part poison. Genuinely such a trash bag is what I'm seeing. It's so hard for me to not see this as anything other than a trash bag now. But that's, that's my problem. You guys don't have to deal with that. Trubbish is a good bet, but it's not trubbish. <laughs> grimace is a really good bet, but it's not a grimace. You guys have guessed a lot of good stuff, but you have not guessed. You have not guessed it. Good, all, all good guesses, but they're not, you have not gotten it. Wait, I know, I've got a thing. Let me add this thing. I think this will help. I don't know what a gulpin is, but it's not, it's not gulpin. Let me look at what a gulpin is. Gulpin Pokemon. <laughs> I can't believe gulpin is a real Pokemon. I love it though, and I wish it. I wish it were part of this, but it is not. Uh, Kitty's Ghost, you have got it. It is part Swadloon. In fact, the thing I'm going to add right now, I think, would have really, really brought that out for all of you. <laughs> you are a genius. You're a Pokemon genius. These are such shapely little weird little horn things. I don't really know what they are. Are they, they're not horns. Yeah, I also, I'm not familiar with this one, but it's a cute, it's a cute little mon. I like that it's got a little cape. I like that it's all swaddled and like hunkered down. Swaddloon is a mood is what I'm seeing. And the other half is poison. You guys have, I don't think I saw anybody guess it. You guys were really close. Um, so you might have said it and I might have missed it, but I don't think I saw anybody guess it. Oh, Inky Bird, MVP of this game, honestly, Inky Bird. It is a Swadloon Grimer combo. And I'm really, I've, I want to go back and add, I'm going to add eyes to these, but let me drop a, a link in the chat because it's incredible. It's really good. 
I'm I'm very fond of Grilloon, which is what this is called. You said Grimer? I saw a lot of mucks. I didn't see Grimer. I'm so sorry. I missed I missed all the Grimer guesses. My B. Did you say Grimer? You said gulpin a lot. And you said grimace a lot. Oh, I do see it. I'm sorry. I missed it. <laughs> Good job, everybody uh, who guessed Grimer and, and missed it. <laughs> I'm very impressed that you guys guessed it. Look at this cutie, though. I really like the shape of this thing. Let me... I think it needs more nose. It needs like a nose ridge. It does look like I just gave it a giant people nose, but that's fine, actually. And what would, uh, let me give you some cute eyes. You got some pretty intense eyes. <laughs> Graloon! I love Graloon! Oh, I can see I, I can tell I missed a pun. Hold on, let me scroll up. I was gonna tell you a thing I think you'd appreciate. My IRL birth name is an Arabic pun. Incredible! It's, it's, it, from birth! From birth, you were, you were born? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Spiderweb Central. Origin story for cinnamon shakes. Incredible. All right. I love this. I love Graloon. Graloon's my favorite so far. I feel like Graloon is going to be a hard one to beat for me. Because look at this good little cra trash monster. It's just an ideal creature. This is what peak Pokemon looks like. Oh, Graloon. You beauty. All right. Hold on. Let me roll up uh, the perfect Mon. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Some interesting shapes on this one. Good news, it's still an orb. <laughs> it still has an orb basic. Um, it is more orb, absolutely. Already forgot Lap Dude, no! Grilloon is my favorite of this session. Lap Dude is my favorite of all time. Of all the creatures I've made in the Pokemon guessing game, Lap Dude is my favorite. I still think about Laugh Dude and Laugh. <laughs> the more I sculpted him, the more I sculpted Lap Dude, and the more, the more of it that arrived in our lives, the better it was. All right, let me. It's so so many of these Pokemon have such weird geometry that it's like I understand kind of what's happening here, but like, do I really? And now I have to prove it. And the answer is I don't. Oh, what are the types? Um, it's half ghost, half ground. Half ghost, half ground. Oh yeah, Obi John. Did she was she drawing Pokemon fusions? Cause she's got a future streaming if she does. If she if she did. Hmm. This is this is interesting. Uh It keeps trying to make boobs and I'm not I'm not trying to make boobs, but it is trying to make boobs.
<laughs> the shape of this one. <laughs> this Pokemon does not have boobs, and so I'm not going to give it boobs. Or if it does have boobs, it's not visible. It's not visible in the model that I have. You're going to have to Google on your own time for that kind of action. That's not what this stream's about. <laughs> this is... This is... <laughs> this is a fun creature. Uh, okay. I'm trying to keep... I'm trying to keep a really good eye out on the chat so I don't miss if you guys guess it. Some of the Pokemon do canonically have boobs and some of the Pokemon fanonically have boobs and then sometimes I have to google Pokemon for work and I have to see all of that and it's just it's just a real tiring tired old time <laughs> exadrill yes yeah chuck chuck dive bomb it is half exadrill uh I didn't get to do the ha let me go ahead and add the second half of the the other part of the extra dill extra 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 dill exadrill Ex Excadrill. It's a bad time. Oh, my, my, the, truly, I can't use YouTube, because I use, I'm just, I'm always logged into my personal YouTube when I'm doing, like, YouTube searches for information and stuff, and it's just, it, Google does not know what I want from YouTube. It does its best, but it just doesn't have any clue. It's not a Shuppet. I don't know what a Shuppet is. But it's not that. This is the other part of the Exadrill, so this is not going to be useful for guessing. It's not a Drifloon, not a, not a Ghastly. You guys are, these are good guesses. But you're not quite there. Ika, yes! Ika, it is a Duskull. This is a Duskull Exadrill <laughs> combo. We're gonna, I'll do, we'll do a, a Halloween version of the stream where we just do like ghost Pokemon combo, because I think that would be extremely fun. Let me drop a link into the chat. That was good teamwork, gang. On 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 ek skull, ek skull, which is what this thing is. <laughs> I like ek skull. I don't. I did not do a good job. <laughs> I did a, a kind of a terrible job sculpting this one. <laughs> the the shapes the shapes are wrong. The shapes are wrong, but it is pretty, it's a pretty good ominous little creature. Let me get Echo Skull. There we go. The head, the head got there. I mean, you figured it out and that's the important part. I didn't get to finish the cute little uh, curly cue up here. Let me do that. Oh yeah, we're gonna do Halloween stream. For, for sure. For sure. I'm, try I'm still trying to figure out, I think a, an all ghost guessing game would be a lot of fun. But I'm gonna try and look at, maybe we can do one where it's like, you have to guess what cryptid I'm doing? That could be fun. That could be fun. And also, oh, I did track down Fatal Frame. So we're gonna do some mad spooky shit. Some, some old school PlayStation classic fatal frame is like the in in japan it didn't did never become popular in america but in japan it's like the three spookiest franchises around that time were resident evil silent hill and fatal frame it's like the third of the triad it just never got super popular as it did in the united states so it's just less less known um but i'm really excited um so we'll be, we'll be playing fatal frame one and two on the stream in fact i might start playing fatal frame one after I finished Death's Door, which will be Sunday. So we'll see. Yeah, it's called Biohazard. Biohazard. Uh, all right, Exoskull. 
You're great. You did a great job. <laughs> okay, let me... Oh, okay. <laughs> I love Fatal Frame. Yeah, I did a video a while, like years ago on, um, it's 100% more orb, for sure more orb. For sure, for sure, for sure more orb. Um, I did a video a while back on uh, technology and old retro technology in games. Wildly enough, I have since making that video, unrelated to that, learned what the uh exact camera that they use in the game fatal frame is uh because it's a it's a brownie it's a kodak brownie and i discovered that doing some unrelated research not for polygon stuff just for my own personal interest but it's a good video so this creature is ghost grass thank you ethan loves Uh, it's a ghost, ghost grassman. <laughs> it is a discal again. I don't know if the, the system, uh, malfunctioned or if this was on purpose, but it is indeed half, half d discal again. When, when you guys see the name of this thing, you'll understand why I was like, well, I don't want to reroll this. I just want to do this. <laughs> yeah, I did. I knew, I knew you guys would guess it quickly, so I figured there's no no real reason to hide what this good creature is. It's going to be really difficult, I think, for you guys to guess the second half. I think this is going to be this is going to be one where I'm going to have to do some texture work to get you to get you guys across that line. Grastly. <laughs> Grassley's good. All right, let me do the cute. Let me get the cutie pie little little swoop. Hey, Millennial Falcon. Mm. Is there really a Pokemon just named Bayleaf? Because that's pretty wild. <laughs> that feels borderline lazy. <laughs> Millennial Falcon, good guess. It's actually Duskull something. It's part Duskull. Although you are, you're in the zone because this has been, this has been a orb heavy, orb centric, orb centric version of this stream today. Maybe I'll do, maybe for the, the Halloween version of this, I will prefab some spooky Pokemon. I'll prefuse some Pokemons. That'll be extra spooky for y'all. I like that. <laughs> it is a donk, in addition to what else it is. Um. Oh, you know, let me check the settings uh, on the fusion machine. Oh, yeah, there's, okay. My version of the fusion machine has a giant uh, lever and I did leave it set to orb. So that one is, that one is on me. I'm sorry about that, gang. I, it's just full, it's maximum orb. My, my version of the few, I don't know if you, what, what version you guys see when you load up the website. My version kind of looks like, um, the torture machine from Princess Bride. Um, anyway, thank you for all the years of your lives that you have given to me unwillingly. I appreciate it. These eyes need to be way closer together. <laughs> 
<laughs> a creepy little creature. What's happening? What are you doing? Why are you being weird? Uh, let me check and make sure nobody's guessed it. Okay, I just don't I still don't think any of you have guessed it. All great guesses, but you haven't quite gotten it yet. God, this has such a weird slimer color. Ika! Ika, congratulations. Ika, it is indeed an hottish. It's <laughs> it's let me go ahead and share this um, link with you. I think you'll all really appreciate it. <laughs> this is a duskal Oddish combination, or according to the site, it is an odd skull. <laughs> I just really like odd skull as a name for a Pokemon. <laughs> I love Odd Skull. Yeah, Odd is just cute little weird little baby face. Uh, I love Odd Skull. Doesn't he look like Slimer? Like a Slimer that you just slapped a face on? Like a cute little cute little baby face? Uh, let me add, let me give this thing a cute little baby face. Kind of, Oddish has kind of got an interesting kind of blue-purple color. Yeah, there he is! My boy! Look at my beautiful boy! Odd Skull! Odd Skull? I love Odd Skull! Odd Skull's growing on me by the second. Odd Skull's good! Yeah, look at this good Pokemon. Holy cow. Yeah, odd skull. Odd skull ain't got no skull. That's why it's so odd. Yes, you guys can figure it out. I love odd skull. I can't believe how much I love odd skull. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, the evolution's really good. Let me click this evolve button. Oh, it's evolving. Oh. Oh, God, this is so intense. Oh, no. No, glue cops. Oh, no. Oh, I love glue clops. Oh, but I hate glue clops. Oh, really mixed feelings about glue clops here. Oh, wow. All right. Well, I highly recommend everybody um, evolve their odd skull into glue clops. Holy shit. Uh, the site isn't working for you. Hold on. Let me. Uh, let me. Where'd you go? Here, I'm dropping, I'm dropping the link in again. Um, glue clops is amazing. I love glue clops. Holy shit. <laughs> God, I love glue clops hands just hovering out in front of them. Oh, God, and their weird dribbly lips. What a cutie. What a good Pokemon. What a shapely Pokemon. I can't stop looking at it. It looks like it's wrapped. It looks like it's got mummy wrappings. I guess, oh, that's that's left over from Dusclops. Okay, amazing. Wait, can it evolve again? <gasps> What's the final evolution going to look like? Oh my god, what's happening to it? Glue Clops, what's happening to you? No! Oh no! Vilenor? Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy, I mean, that's so orb. It, it became less orb, and then it became more orb. Oh, my God. Okay. 
I let me hold on. Let me just link. I want everybody to be able to experience vile noir. Let me just drop vile noir in the chat too. Oh, because what an incredible creature! It's yeah, it's Ron. Yeah, it's little face come back, but it's smiling now. Oddish doesn't really smile. He's just got a little straight little face. Vile Noir is happy. Vile Noir has got a cute little smile. God, Vile Noir is what I hope to be someday. A happy, thriving, an orb living in a slightly larger orb, like a shell, with a beautiful high collared shirt. Vile Noir, yeah. Oh, what a good creature. Wow. Wow, all right. I'm just like shook by how good all of these Pokemon. Who who would have guessed that we would have struck upon the most perfect combination of two Pokemons evolved? Incredible, incredible, incredible. All right, I've got to just gotta like shake it off. Let me find a good. Let me find a good new thing for us to make. <laughs> Oh, this one's so much orb. This one's a lot of orb. Okay. This one's a lot of orb. Uh, leader of the fusion gym, what would your team be? I mean, lap dude is for sure top, top tier. Lap dude's the, the final one that you have to face. Um, that's a great question. Oh, they all just give you odd skull? That's interesting. I didn't realize that was how the... Uh, links worked but yeah if you click in the bottom right there's an evolve button that you can click to go through um vile noir has got to be on my team yeah for sure in fact i think i think my team is <laughs> odd skull um the the middle one <laughs> just names i've already forgot vile noir lap dude um i don't know i have to look back through all the other pokemon that we've made we've made some really good creatures What's the most cyberpunk fusion Pokemon? That's a good question. Let me, the, let me, okay. The thing I'm working on right now is part grass, part steel. Get a good angle on it. This is a, a weirdly shaped mon. Oh god, it's got cute little feet though. <gasps> oh holy cow. Uh, <laughs> Shroomish. Absolutely, it is half jump luff. Well spotted just from the, the shape of these things. You know your shit, yeah. It is for sure jump luff. Good, yeah, good, good eye, everybody. I love, I'm not familiar with Jumpluff, but I love Jumpluff's little feetsies. <laughs> He's got cute little feetsies. Just like hanging out of here. That's a very good design choice. This is a good Pokemon. Let me make the little connecty bits. Whoops. Uh, it's part grass, part steel. <laughs> what a good creature. Okay. All right. Now, now, now for the rest of this.
Yeah, I'm not familiar with Jump Love, but I think I'm going to have to Google Jump Love and figure out what Jump Love's whole deal is. Because I'm into it. I like what they're what they're putting down. This has got this thing has a real weird face. I'm trying to figure out like how to how to really do it. It's a, it's this is a hard one. <laughs> this is its cute little mouth. <laughs> uh, a luminous night. It is indeed clink. I saw somebody guess clank earlier, but they were not correct. This is a jump luff clink or clinuff, clit, clit, cliluff, cliluff, cliluff. Adam's first wife. Here's a link in the chat. This is this is a jump luff clink combo. I was really struggling. I'm glad you guys guessed it because I was not really certain how I was going to do the rest of the face. Inky Bird, I saw you guess Clank. I didn't see you guess Clink. Because I, I saw that Clank and I was keeping my eye out, but maybe you said Clink first and I missed it. Uh, I had no clue how I was going to be able to see how I was going to be able to do the face. Yeah, because the face is the only is the real part of this that uh, was part of this. This is, yeah, this is a, this is a cursed creation. It's both cute and yet, and yet, and yet. <laughs> but Jump Love is a wild one. While we're here, let's go ahead and click Evolve to see what this is going to look like if we evolved it. Hmm? Oh my god. Really awkward. Not good. Claw love is not good. It's not a good evolution. Inky bird, if you just guess at random, then I don't get a chance to like blend anything for you to guess based on. God, the ev evolutions of this one are not as enjoyable. <laughs> the, the evolutions are not as good and I don't recommend them as much. All right, let me... Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm missing if I'm missing your guesses. I am trying to do do I'm trying to keep my eyes split. Uh but I appreciate you guys being patient when I when I miss your good guesses. Simon shakes no no Voltor while you were gone. Yeah, we got we got a thry thry orbed one. Uh, God, I have to I have to put all of these in something. Hold on, I have to contain all of these creatures. Yeah, it just gets more gears on the face. It just gets more geared. Uh, cling, luff. It's just gear heavy. Okay, uh, I got one. It's. A really genuinely cursed um it's cursed so much i'm trying to decide if i should just give you guys a link and let you see it and then um i'm struggling with this one let me i'm gonna i'm just gonna drop a link to this one in the chat so you can see oh it's so cursed though Okay, no, let me let me do this. We'll we'll do this one. We'll do this one. It's just I'm not going to be able I'm it, warning, I'm not going to be able to capture what makes it so cursed in my blend. 
Uh, so I'm just going to do the best job that I can. And then once you see the image, you'll say, oh, wow, that's like an elder god creation. You'll say, oh, no, <laughs> oh, no. Um, this is fairy and rock. Fairy and rock type. Oh, this is just such an awkward mon. Really just an awkward mon that is going to get made here. One, one half of this is one that's fairly popular that I think you guys will guess pretty quickly. The other half I've never heard of, I've never seen, I don't know what its deal is, and I don't like it. Inky Bird, it is in fact half Cliff Fairy. If you guys, here, here's my warning. If you guys keep just taking grabs at the dark based on very little, then we're going to have to go back to, um, no, but I won't tell you what it is until you guessed both, both. And I think that's going to be really hard. But actually, maybe that'll be fine. Maybe that won't be hard. Maybe that'll be okay. Uh, cinnamon shakes, the, the type are, uh, yeah, fairy rock. Thank you. Thank you, Skull. These are his little Clefairy arms. Oh, no. This guy's cute little Clefairy arms up. And then he's got to do... Thank you, Illuminous Knight. <laughs> These are the cute little Clefairy ears. Clefairy is a cute Pokemon. I think, I, I guess everybody knows that. I'm not, that's not, rel, rel, that's not a, a revelatory statement. Well-known cute Pokemon, Clefairy is cute. Okay. Sipa, well, there's at least, yeah, Miltank. Yes, you guys got it. You guys beat me to the punch by a lot. Okay, let me... <laughs> Just like, just kind of at a loss of even what the. I'm trying, I'm just trying to figure out what the anatomy of this creature is. It's confusing to me. This is gonna, <laughs> it's gonna look a little rockabilly for a moment, but then it's gonna not, hopefully. This right the the fusion has done done something to the, <laughs> the anatomy of this creature which i think is make is gonna make it very difficult to sculpt oh a piece of work county i can't believe you got it but yeah it is absolutely boldor did this get you to boldor really i'm so impressed this is a bull fairy and here i'm gonna drop the link in the chat 
So you guys can appreciate how it, how much, much more cursed it is. Um, it's a really... I, I don't know what a Bulldor is. I've never heard of this Pokemon. I've never seen this Pokemon. It says it's a rock type, which I believe. Um, as you can see, the, the fusion on the website is really cursed. It's really cursed. Emo vibes. <laughs> um, oh, man. I just... Uh, the geometry of this this dangly bit. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's happening with Bull Fairy. And I can't explain it. <laughs> like, yeah, like one eye that's split in two. Is this like dangling down? Is this part dangling down or is it like a crest? And then there's like some jewels on its belly. I didn't even get to the jewels. I didn't even know where to, what to do about that situation. It's just like gemstones, I guess. Uh, yeah, Bulfairy, Bulfairy Eldritch, Bulfairy Cursed. This is a cursed Pokemon. It's not an eye, it's an ear. <laughs> That's worse. <laughs> okay. Uh, somebody was saying in the chat that they've cracked a, a, an ability to figure out what I'm guessing. It was Mechtel, right? Mechtel, how did you crack? How did you figure out what I was guessing? Are you looking at like the reflection in my glasses or something? Bye, Mr. Shadow Paradox. Thanks for playing. Okay. I'm going to click through some, some fusion options. Oof. Oh, Mechtel. Okay, yeah. I saw that earlier and I was like, oh, I should click on some of those, some of those live fusions and we can do those. But then I was like, oh, they're going to be way too easy to figure out. Uh, well, that might have just fundamentally broken how this works, actually. <laughs> oh. I think I just heard a little bit of a car crash outside my window. <laughs> Uh, maybe don't say the types. Well, I mean, if we can all, if we can all promise, <laughs> I think it's fine. I don't think it was an actual crash, but there was the screech of brakes came through. <laughs> uh, startling. Um, yeah, no screen sniping. If we can all agree to be chill and and not look at all of the the random random options, then I think it'll be okay. This is, I mean, this is much like uh, that one show. The points don't matter here. So <laughs> um, let's see. All right, let me click through and find a good one. Okay. Yeah, whose line is it anyway? Thank you, Evan Loves. That's exactly what I was thinking of. Uh, the points don't matter. All right. I'm not going to tell you the type on this one. Everybody has to promise not to look. Okay. Um. <laughs> Cinnamon shakes. You're right. This is half Voltorb. <laughs> this is half Voltorb. The other half of this is going to be fucking impossible. <laughs> um, the other half of this is going to be... <laughs> it's just going to be really difficult. So... <laughs> Really impressive work, Cinnamon. Uh, I can't believe you you just you figured it out so quickly. <laughs> it was finally it was finally your time. We all knew you were gonna get there. <laughs> Indication. <laughs> okay. 
the other the other the other part of this is another pokemon i've just absolutely never seen vindication <laughs> joke ass <laughs> electrode for the second would be so fucking funny i'm so sad it's not the other half of this is a pokemon i've never heard of that once again does not look real to me it looks like a fake mon uh let's let's just keep going <laughs> you guys will figure it out maybe i mean this is another one where it's really just like the face is just kind of smushed on It's not Eternus. I don't know what that is. I assume a Pokemon. <laughs> Based on context, my guess is a Pokemon. Well, I mean, you're, you were half right, so. Joe Gatz, incredible. Joe Gatz, incredible, yes. It's Char, Charya Bug. Char, Charya Bug. I'm, I've never heard of or seen this Pokemon. I don't know what it is. <laughs> An incredible guess. I can't believe you guys got this. You guys are killing this. You guys are so good at Pokemon. Here's the link. Um... This is a wild Pokemon. It looks like... It looks like just an item. It doesn't look like a creature. <laughs> I mean, a lot of Pokemon are like that. But this one especially... It's especially cursed in this. He's a cutie. I, yeah, he's kind of cute. I, yeah, I'd agree with that. He's a cutie. Yeah, it is just Charbug butt round. <laughs> Charya, Charya bug? Anyway, this is Chartorb. <laughs> I do like saying Chartorb. <laughs> that's, that's good and fun to say. Oh gosh. Chartorb. A surprising cutie. Thank you, Mint Palmer. I've been trimming them recently. Keeping them shapely. <laughs> oh no! Drill Torb! Holy shit! Drill Torb's really good! Obi John! Incredible! Oh, Charger Bug. Char Charger Bug. Okay, I understand. That makes sense. Drilltorb's incredible. Drilltorb is an incredible Pokemon. Oh my god. It's really good. Uh, listen, the fusions are good. <laughs> I, and I feel blessed that we get to play with the fusions because they're all really delightful. Oh man. Shaving your head is a good route. One of these days I'm going to go back to my undercut, which I miss, miss dreadfully. Volia bug. I'm letting it letting it evolve now. Oh god, what's the shape of this? Wow! It becomes a millennial falcon. Wow. The Vicatrobe. The Vicatrobe's wild, okay. Hey Harley Luma! Please meet Chartorb. It's beautiful. You had to grow your hair out for a project? What kind of project? Easier than paying for a haircut. Yeah. That's the thing is I miss the undercut, but it takes a ha you, it takes so much upkeep and the upkeep is fine and easy. But when there's a pandemic, if I can choose to not go to a hairdresser every month, 
and it feels like a better option. So one of these days, but not right now. Oh, Lizzie, who I'm so jealous. Your hairdresser is so frustrated. <laughs> oh, a perm. Getting a perm on Friday. That's delightful. How exciting. Congratulations. Learn how to shave your own undercut during the pandemic. That's intense. My partner has offered, offered to shave my undercut. But that fe it feels like such a big ask. I don't know. One of these days, I'll circle back to it. I miss the undercut. All right, let me find a good mon. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm not going to do this one, but I am going to share this one. This is another extremely, extremely cursed one. Well, maybe I should. Maybe I should do this one. No, you know what? We're going to do this one. We're going to do this one. Yeah, we're going to do this one. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Flyable Head. Welcome back. What reality TV are you watching? I'm very curious. Also, uh, Marissa, congratulations on Shy Cat. It's the best when you get a Shy Cat. Yeah, welcome to Watermelon Club, Pliable Head. Woo. Aw, oh, Cat Loaf. What a blessed Wednesday. Eight to ten inches? Vaporize. That's so many inches. Okay, we're gonna have to start with an orb on this one. The Circle, holy shit. I remember watching the first season of The Circle. Very, that was really early in the pandemic, wasn't it? And I thought it was great, but then I haven't watched any since. I did just start watching Squid Game though, and it's incredible, and I'm really excited to get back to it. Oh, if you get an undercut, you won't be able to donate it probably. Yeah, that makes sense. For two years, well, that's the nice thing is, you know, the hair, it grows. You can cut it whenever. Came out February 2020. Yeah. It was technically, well, I didn't watch it until post-pandemic. I feel like it got super popular when it was post-pandemic. Um, sorry, I'm struggling to figure out how to start with this creature. Um, season two slaps season three isn't quite as good I've heard yeah I've heard not great things about season three but I mean it was so it was so appropriate for the early part of the pandemic when everybody was in isolation like it just it just made sense <laughs> it was just like an okay thing to watch when that was how you were living your life I remember that. That was nice. I really fucked up these legs. That's fine. This is... Well, okay. The, the types that we're working with are water and rock. A <laughs> rocket ship Pokemon. <laughs> there probably is, but this isn't it. This is a weird, these are two weird Pokemon that I'm not familiar with at all. There's a Pokemon for everything, it's true. It's true. Cinnamon, genuinely, the Avatar, the last Airbender movie, is one of the worst in terms of, like, pure technical skill. You know how, like, some movies are bad because, like, the scripts are bad or, like, they, they make weird choices with the production? This is just, like, 
like filmmaking 101 stuff they failed on and so it's like just like hard to watch sometimes so i honestly think you made an okay choice do you guys like what i'm doing here with this creature is this what you were hoping for A Katamari guy. Yeah, I can kind of see that. It's that neutral Milk Hotel album cover. <laughs> it's not, but it might as well be. <laughs> a piece of workami you're you're making sounds i say sounds you're typing stuff like you know and that makes me excited for you your cat is also a loaf it's good loaf day between that and joe gatz's uh banana bread what a good day for loaves these are pretty good but they are not finger enough they're not finger like enough to really capture the energy of this pokemon A Kabuto flipped on its back. That's a very good guess, but no. Beautiful day for loaves. It's how you know it's fall. This is a cursed one. This is a cursed one. It's a cursed one and also it's made up of two Pokemon I've never heard of before. <laughs> and don't know anything about. Oh no. I'm back. I'm adding its sad, sad little eyes. Ooh, Lyaker, it is half Lilla Peep. Lilip? It, that's the rock type part of this. Lilip? I don't know how to say it, and I'm not familiar with this mon. But you are correct that that is half of what this thing is. Well spotted. I'm impressed anybody got that. Or at least half of that. Because I've never heard of that Pokemon in my life. God, what a creature. Look at this thing. Okay, now, I mean, the ha second half of this is are already partially here uh gosh i just like what how do i even with this thing uh it's just got such a weird appendage it's got a really horrible appendage the second half is the lorax <laughs> God, 
God, the second half of this, it's just so bad. I don't know what a Fionn is. It's not that. I don't know what it is, but it it ain't that, as as Meatloaf always says. God, the other the other part of this is just like oh, it's accidentally duplicating. It was not meant to be duplicated. Get out of here, Quagsire. No, it is the other half is water. The other half is a water type, yes. Ignore ignore this other arm. This other arm is not supposed to be here. It does have another arm, but it's not this. I guess I'll deal with that later. It looks like a Power Rangers villain. Yeah, I can see that. It's not an Emporion. I'm gonna, here's the thing, it's I'm gonna get to a point in this appendage where I'm done, and you're gonna say, surely you're not done. That can't be the end of what that shape of that appendage is, this is a Pokemon. And I'm gonna say, that's, I'm just doing what I see and this is it. Like that's, that's close to being it, but actually it's not because it needs to be way bigger and more upsetting. <laughs> Tep hit it, you hit it, you got it. Here's the thing, this, the other part of this Pokemon is not something with tentacles. And I don't know why the fusion made this thing, this shape. It does not, I cannot express enough. Oh, Vaporize, you did it! Vaporize, yes! Oh no, wait, somebody said it before you. Lyakor, Lyakor? Lyakor, you got it. It's Simipore. It's a Simipore. <laughs> this is, uh, this is what it, the generator insists is a Lillipore. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. Look at that! Look at the thing it generated. Why? Why is this the way that it is? That's not, this is not the thing. This isn't the shape of the thing on either of these creatures. Amazing job guessing. You guys did a great job. But what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Why is it this way? Like, why? Lilipor? Lily. Poor. Or I guess it I guess it would be Lil Poor. <laughs> That's way better. Lil Poor. The flipped version is kind of pleasant. Let me flip this real quick. Ugh. It looks well, okay. Actually, that's pretty cute. It looks like a mobile egg cup. The Cinelip is way cuter. The Lil Poor. He's just a Lil Poor. <laughs> um I think. Lil Poor is genuinely upsetting. Just the weird tentacles. And like, why did it do that to the hands? It made the hands not hands anymore. And I don't know how or why. Let's evolve this. Let's see. <laughs> the evolution. <laughs> the evolution. <laughs> Crapper. <laughs> I mean, yeah, once again, it has made the hands on Crapper. In, on, I don't, like, I, 
incredible. I think, I guess the system is perceiving the tentacles around the head to be hands. That's my best guess. This is a heck of a creature, though. Lil Poor. Lil Poor's pretty cute. The A cup evolution. Oh, the A cup evolution. Hold on. Let me swap them back. Oh, it's a little puppy. Simadilly. Why haven't I gotten these ones to blend? Why do I keep getting the Eldritch Horror ones? I mean, maybe this is like divination. What if you did one and then evolved it and then sculpted it? And and made you guys guess? I guess, I guess the question is, is this only giving me first evolutions? I haven't been paying attention. Lizzie, who are you saying if I did one and then evolved it and then sculpted it and you guys tried to guess what the two base ones are? Because that sounds very difficult. You guys are killing it. But that sounds extra, extra hard. While you answer in the chat, I'm going to click through and pick pick some good options. Oh, oh, I got a cute one. Oh, I got a cute little one. OK. Hard mode. <laughs> OK, well, let me do OK. We'll do hard mode on this one. Let me see what this one evolves into that I've just rolled up. Because the one I evolved into is super cute. It's really cute. But let's see if it evolves into something interesting. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I mean, that's fine. It's not as... The first one's so adorable, though. The evolved one is just fine. Let me see if I can get something better. Hold on. <laughs> oh. Oh. This might be a jackpot. Let's evolve it. But this one's incredible. The base one on this one's incredible. It looks like... The base one on this one looks like a cursed McDonald's toy that you would get and be like, what what franchise was this for? What creature was this for? Okay. <laughs> okay, middle evolution's also really good. Let me do the third evolution and see if this is going to get us anywhere even funnier. <laughs> oh god okay not a noticeable difference uh all right we'll do the middle evolution on this one uh and you guys are trying to guess the original two pokemon on this one this is going to be a fun challenge for me to remember what the original two are and keep that in my brain long enough okay i'm memorizing i'm memorizing i'm memorizing grimace final answer <laughs> okay Ooh, this is a good one. All right. Goodbye, little poor. You're an abomination against God. But I love you anyway, because I'm a good mom. I've done it again. Hold on. This has to be more blocky. <laughs> Thank you, Knife Snail. <laughs> Everybody has to know I'm a good mom and that I love all my horrible, horrible little monsters. Electrode <laughs> is not. <laughs> Agumon's not a bad guess. <laughs> it's not it's not the worst guess, honestly, for what I'm looking at. 
This thing has big, does have big Digimon energy. It is not a tyrant. It's got an interesting stance. I will say the um, both the original and this evolution are normal and electric type, if that helps. And it's funny, you know, okay, Cell, it's funny that you say that. Because this doesn't have, this doesn't have, uh, like, weapon guns like you generally think of. It does have a different kind of gun. <laughs> it's not Geodude. I desperately wish it were. Oh, Vaporize. Incredible work. Half of this is indeed a Blitzel. I'm so impressed that you got that. You weren't cheating, right? That was on the level. I believe you, Vaporize. If you say you weren't cheating, I'll believe you. It's the feet? Okay. <laughs> I was hoping the feet would give it away because they're just little hooves. Hooves. This is looking like a Psychonauts, a Psychonauts 1 character with these weird hands. Oh, you don't have to worry about, about lurking, obi John. Were you on lap, dude? <sighs> Incredible. What are you doing? What kind of lap dude work are you doing? Or is lap dude what you call your laptop or something? Oh, lurking for your Fimo? That's so cool. That's incredible. Okay, I think once I add the ears, this is really going to pop for y'all. This is a very shapely Pokemon. That's what I'll say. Ika. It's a, a great shape. Not a manky. Good guess, though. Oh, Inky Bird is it is indeed a Whismur. Good guesses, Illuminous and I. I see you too. A very good guesses. I can't believe you guys did that. Yeah, yeah. I figured the ears, the ears on the Loudred are very distinctive. Uh, that's a shame. I didn't actually get to do the face. Hold on, let me do the face. The face is uh, far and away the best part. The face is incredible. Wait, let me share the link to, to this good cutie so you guys can appreciate. <laughs> Zed, Zed bread. <laughs> Zed dread. Zeb, Zeb dread. It 
it just comes out of the body so smoothly. And I really like that about it. Honestly, a great design, a great design. I guess this is not a, a, a Nintendo design per se, but I still credit them for some good designed Pokemon that meld well together. Ah, uh, this has the energy of an Adventure Time in a character. Oh, how did you get such a well-defined butthole? I didn't like that. This is good. It's a good creature. Yeah, Biltmer. Biltmer looks cool. There's good Biltmer Biltmer really sold me on this as a creature. Biltmer is so adorable. <laughs> I really like it. Zebred is also great. These are two powerful mons. This is leaning though. He's got a he's got a mean lean. There you go. Now you've got a powerful lean. Forward. Ominous. Ready to intimidate your enemies. Which are none. You have no enemies. You're a perfect little cutie. Where? Okay, the eyes go kind of here. Please flip them on. Flipping them on. Flipping them on now. <laughs> Pinata! It makes a pinata! Holy shit! Oh, it's really good! Lustrika! Wow! Wow, it's good. It's a really good mon. God, such good mons tonight! God, it's already 10 o'clock. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I put, <laughs> I don't know if I put the ideals exactly where they should be. There we go. That's a little bit better. <laughs> wow, I love Lustrika. I don't regret not doing Lustrika, but that's pretty incredible. Oh, boy. Uh, let me give you a name. What was your name? Zebred. Zeb. Dread. Wow. Okay. Let's bring up all our friends. God. Lil Poor is. Lil Poor remains <laughs> more than a little upsetting to me. <laughs> These are all great, but Lil Poor is just so much. Just so much creature. <laughs> I love Odd Skull. Odd Skull might be my MVP of the night. Still, these are all so superb. But Odd Skull, <laughs> Odd Skull just has such great energy. God, we made so many Pokemon tonight. Oh, you know what? I forgot about Grilloon. Actually, Grilloon is also really good. I might do, I might clean up Grilloon and do some more work with Grilloon. Uh, look at all these. I can't believe how many Pokemon we made today, first of all. It really didn't seem like that many <laughs> while we were in the sauce. Oh, Bull Fairy. I'm going to make you smaller so that you're less intimidating. Ah, oh, These are really good. <laughs> the Voltorb one was great. 
<laughs> you did so good. Everybody did so good with their guessing. Uh, thank you again. Again, first of all, thank you for being patient as I try to blend and watch the chat. <laughs> uh, speaking of Grilloon, wow, that is that is really close. That is really close. Psychic. Incredible. Uh, all right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for being patient as I both watch the chat uh, and and do the blending. Uh, you guys are, are champs about me missing out on your guesses. Um, I'm so pleased by all of our good, beautiful friends. Another wonderfully successful blender night. <laughs> um, let me see who there, who's out to raid. Uh, I know, let's see, let's see, let's see. Generations, Pokemon Generations. That's a great takeaway from the stream. I think that's going to be mine too. I'm going to have to figure out how to, how to work that into the branding of this show, I guess. Um, oh, they're doing more Forbidden City. Okay, we're going to, we're going to raid Secret Sleepover Society. For Society. Uh, cause I want to see more of that game cause I've heard it's really good. All right. Uh, thank you for, for the excellent chat, uh, and excellent stream. I'll see you guys Sunday. We're going to finish up death's door. I'm super, super, super excited, um, for the final boss fight. Uh, and then, um, we'll play some other game, maybe fatal frame cause it's spooky season. Okay. I'll see you all later. Goodbye. Well, now I have to wait for the raid to, to go through and, and say goodbye. I didn't time this well. I didn't time it well, but that's okay. You know, we're all going to spend these couple of seconds. Goodbye. <laughs>